$300 guitar rig to include guitar and amp, absolutely perfectly shreddable. Are you skeptical? Let me change your mind today right here on Geargasms. Hi kids, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. Today, we're gonna take a look at a budget rig. This guy's a 2002 made in China. Beautiful, beautiful top. Really fat 50s neck. You can get this kind of guitar, or even better, all day long on eBay for $250. Sometimes that even includes a case. This is here, line six. I know it's the scourge of the internet. Both of these products are looked down upon by gear snobs, but let me tell you something. 50 bucks. It was 100 bucks new. All day long, 50 bucks or less, you can pick these bad boys up on eBay or Reverb. It's got four channels and it can do quite a bit. So for $300 or less for an entire rig, I ain't including the strap. I'm not talking about the cable. You can get something that is completely serviceable, play any, pretty much any gig you want with it. And we're gonna go through the different kinds of combinations these two very inexpensive pieces can make in a guitar rig in just a little bit. But first, the data. Epiphone Les Paul, beautiful veneer flame maple top, made in China, 2002. Kind of a fat 50s profile neck, just gorgeous. Speaking of gorgeous, Look at that mahogany. Look at the grain on that. Doesn't it almost look maple? Look at that piece of mahogany on the back. Purdy. And this is the little line six. It's got four channels. Clean, crunch, metal, and insane. You've got all your EQ knobs, a drive knob, an overall channel volume, as well as a master. A couple of effects built in. You've got your mods on one knob and your reverbs and delays on another. They're sort of tweakable. They're not half bad. CD player, MP3 player input. You can even use it with the floorboard if you'd like. Shred means different things to different people. Maybe this is your idea of a shred. This is the clean channel on the Line 6 neck pickup. <laughs> Just like a real tube amp, if you dig in a little bit, it'll start to, to blow up, it'll distort, it'll crackle. That of course is the bridge pickup, together, just as beautiful. In addition to having a $300 guitar rig that we're showcasing today, it is the one year anniversary of this here Geargasms channel. And in one year, here's a couple of things that we've accomplished. We've gone from 72 to over 1,500 subscribers. That's 20X. We've gone from 80,000 views to about 325,000 views, I think. That's a lot. I have wasted 1.2 million watch minutes of the world's time making this content in the last year. That boggles the mind. If I've stolen a part of your life, I am sorry, but we're having fun, right? Okay, there's four channels on the Spider 4. You may be an old rock and roll guy, so maybe your jam is the Crunch channel. Think of sort of a highly driven tube amp, kind of, but not, not metal or squirrely, just kind of a <laughs> That 
adds a lot of character for such a cheap amp and a cheap guitar. The crunch channel, it's a lot more organic than you'd expect from such a digital, inexpensive, garbage line six amp. <laughs> But before I forget, t-shirt shout out time. Le Guns and Roses. Have I seen the reunion tour? I have not. And I'm a huge, huge fan. Here's my problem. Let's just say a decent ticket on the floor after you've been raped by the scalpers is 500 bucks. There's five original members of Guns and Roses. Dissy guy's in the band. Dissy guy's in the band, always was. And Dissy guy's in the band. Now, I'm no math genius, but that's three out of five. So let's take the ticket price down to 300 bucks right off the top. Because by my math, they're missing at least one gun and one rose. I'm not interested in that. Steven Adler, maybe this tour would have killed him. But if you've been watching the news at all lately, it's pretty obvious he's probably going to die anyway. Is he? He's cranky. He's aloof. But if you put enough money under his feet, You'd have got him on stage. All I'm saying is, even if you didn't want to take Steven Adler out, what's wrong with Matt Sorum? Geargasm's number of the week, two. That's how many of these people are missing from the band. Do I seem like I'm going on and on and on about it? I am. All right, have you had enough wussy rock for one day? We're going over to the channel called Metal. <laughs> My, oh my, that bridge pickup. Don't you just love it? So you can even do your Eddie Van Halen Weedly Wee on a guitar like this. But this thing here, anytime I try to tap on a Les Paul style guitar, it gets in the goddamn way. <laughs> Listen to the sustain. You want to hear it? <laughs> Guitar faces are not extra. Last but not least, the insane channel on the Line 6 Spider 4. 
15 solid state watts of amperage to rip your skull off. Let's give it a listen and see how much chug it has. <laughs> You're supposed to look angry when you play music like that. I try to go for a face that's part anger, part I'm right in the middle of a difficult Insane. The aptly named last channel of the line six. <laughs> I call that pick scrape seizure. All right, as you can see, just like a regular Les Paul, this goes out of tune. I've got the snark covering the logo of shame. Actually makes the head stop, sh blah, blah, blah. actually makes the headstock shape look a little better. And damn, I ground this pickup just doing that just now. One of my favorite Dunlop Tortexes. It's so old, it don't even have any print on it anymore. I'm gonna have to throw it away after this video. But let's explore this just a little bit more. How does it sound on the neck pickup? Let's see how it does with pick harmonics. Well, what did we learn today, kids? We learned that for less than $300, you can buy yourself a very shred-worthy guitar rig. And I know I did the TH weird when I said worthy. $300? That's not a whole lot of money. What's that? Mo5 lawns? You're in. 10, 11 tugs? I don't know what the going rate is. It'll get you there. 300 bucks. Car wash, bake sale, fitty-fitty raffle you can come up with 300 bucks. We also learned that as much as I love Guns N' Roses, I'm still kind of still kind of hurt about this so-called reunion. As always, thank you for your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy a t-shirt, you cheap bastards. They're available on Teespring. The link is at the bottom of every video and not goddamn one of you has bought one yet. But whatever you do, keep coming back week after week, and I hope to see you here again on Geargasms.